Okay, uh, talk about uh, Bitcoin mining in a residential neighborhood. How to do it, and uh, as you can see, this is my house. I've got uh, solar panels um, uh, to help supplement, but uh, you can't really hear. Uh, there's somebody on a motorcycle that you can hear a whole lot more than uh, my machines. So we're going to show you... Uh, how I did this in the shed and uh, made it very quiet so that uh, my neighbors don't um, hate my guts. So we're here at uh, my shed, we're about to go in. The uh, loudest thing that you hear is the air conditioner. And uh, oh, let me unlock it. Okay, so uh, I've changed a lot of this. We've reduced a lot of the uh, machines in my shed. Uh, I put in a uh, 200 amp service here. Um, and I left the return hang low. Uh, I used to have the, the wall used to go all the way across here. Uh, but for code reasons, they made me uh, open up around the electrical panel. Uh, so, uh, but as you can hear now, you hear our mine. Um, but the difference is, is I've got it boxed in. And this is my hot side here, which I'll show you guys here in a minute. And this is the cold side, which uh, we've got uh, an air conditioning duct. We'll turn on the light here. transformer which I'll show you on another video uh, they're supposed to uh, come and change that uh, we're building a new building here as well uh, but uh, so I'm kind of uh, taking this down but I want to show you this is how I started uh, Bitcoin mining uh, I was just in uh, my shed but um, you have to realize how to do it correctly otherwise you're going to have the problem of your neighbors they're not going to like you very much. So at first I started with one of these uh, PTAC units or what they call uh, through the wall units, hotel units. Um, so you're going to definitely want to try and box them in in a residential setting and reduce the uh, noise uh, so that your neighbors can't hear <coughs> all of the different machines. Uh, now on the hot side, you're going to want to give it a little bit of space and you're going to want to use a blower uh, motor. Let me show you that here in a second. Okay, so this is my uh, hot side and basically it's just a boxed in, insulated, highly insulated uh, unit that uh, use the... Uh, the um, the fire retardant material, um, it does much better. Uh, and you just box in your hot side with a uh, blower so that it can uh, pull all the uh, heat straight out. Um, that seems to be the uh, most efficient method and the quietest method. Uh, otherwise, uh, I've seen too many guys uh, sit there and um, you know, pipe them straight outside and nobody likes them in the neighborhood because you can hear the wine all over the place. So you definitely don't want to use a blower. In fact, that one was slightly too small. Uh, if you're going to use a blower motor, you're going to want uh, at least, depending upon your, your how many units you have, that's a three-ton blower. Uh, I actually have a five-ton blower unit uh, that uh, I'm going to be replacing that with. I'm still going to keep some in here. I've got all the infrastructure. Uh, I'm not going to keep as many uh, in this building. Uh, when we build the uh, new building, uh, we are going to um, 
be keeping this 200 amp panel here. I'm gonna be getting 400 amps in my new building, uh, my new garage, uh, and then uh, I will show you even more improved ways on how to make that one incredibly silent, silent because I'm on a half an acre here, so I got a little space, but I wanna show it to where uh, you could be, my building in my uh, garage is going to be about 15 feet away from my neighbor. And I want to make sure that it's incredibly silent so that uh, they're not complaining. So uh, we're going to uh, show you a bunch of different uh, techniques and whatnot and uh, show you all of the different ways I'm going to be trying. I'm going to be trying some geothermal uh, air cooling. Uh, I'm going to uh, also be doing some uh, I'm going to be trying out, uh, you know, putting in some coils in my hot side so that I can um, extract the heat and actually heat the, uh, my entire home with it. I'll be doing that and uh, a few other things. So, but uh, uh, this is uh, how I started. And uh, if you like this video, hit that like and uh, please subscribe to me. I've got uh, a lot of different things I'm gonna be showing and talking to you about. A lot of exciting things are happening uh, and we're growing like crazy. We'll be showing you the, uh, the garage being built. We'll be showing you um, the, uh, all of the different uh, types of uh, improvements we're going to be making to our uh, existing multiple locations. And we're actually building a uh, uh, another location as well so uh, we got a lot going on and as always have a great day